Donna says, what is he really is too good for me, but he's still interested in me. You need to rethink that, Donna. Like, seriously, what if he's too good for me, but he's still interested in me? What you need to do is reframe your thought process around that. Start, you know, like, really, I mean, think about it. Our thoughts create our world, right? And if you think that he's too good for you, you know, like you're going to start experiencing that and you're going to witness it and eventually you're going to end up driving him away. And so what you need to do is you need to reframe your mind. You need to change your thoughts. And the fastest way to do that is to start creating doubt, right? Create doubt within yourself about this belief, right? So create doubt, you know, maybe it's, you just question it, question your, your belief, right? If your belief is he's too good for me, you know, question that, you know, ha, ha, maybe he's not too good for you. Like, you know, what evidence do you have that he, you know, that, that you're perfect for each other or that, you know, you're too good for him or that, you know, he's exactly right for you. You know, what evidence do you have that, that says that it's, he isn't too good for you? Right. Just look at it from a, a couple of different standpoints and try to create doubt around it and then find the belief that you do want to have, which is, you know, some probably something like, you know, you're good enough. You're good enough or you deserve to have a great man in your life or you deserve to have a man of this quality in your life and then find evidence of that. Right. Like, how do you know? How would you know if you were good for each other, if you deserved a man like him, how would you know that? You know, like what, what evidence would you find that shows you that you do deserve a great man to have a great man in your life? And that's what you want to think about.